Ready? Push it, 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 push it. Come on, sir! Up and down the UK, children as young as five are thrusting their way into the fast lane. Keep pushing hard, you did well on that one. <laughs> By age seven, they're racing at speeds of 65 miles per hour. <laughs> in a bid to make it to Formula One. I want to be with one for like generations. Kids following in the tyre tracks of go-karting sensation Lewis Hamilton. Kids do get there, so why should it not be kids like Max? I want to be a Formula One driver because it's the quickest car in the world. It's about the want, OK, and the belief, yeah? Driving these go-karting prodigies is often a determined parent. Look, what the hell is he doing? You want to achieve in sport, you've got to be pushed continually and put under pressure. You're either 100% committed or you're not going to achieve it. Simple as that. For me, it's eat, sleep, race, repeat, and that's about it for my life. But chasing the F1 dream... Three, Max, three, two, three. ..comes at a cost. What do you mean, what am I doing on the outsiders? <laughs> for those committing everything, there is a chance of joining racing's elite. You'll want to be like the next F1 star. Come on, Max! In North Wales, kids from around the UK are competing in a professional race in the karting calendar. Yeah, it's on the double right carousel on the bottom of the hill, yeah. What, the car outside? Sliding loads right now. One of the hottest prospects racing is 10-year-old Max Dodds, managed by his dad, Ollie. Go, mate, do you know what you're doing? Yep. yep. Get properly stuck in, OK? Since I was young, I really wanted to be a racing driver. I didn't really mind what I... Being, but it would be nice to be an F1. Hailing from Harrogate, Max has amassed a hall of over 50 trophies. I've got quite a few. <laughs> it's good, but I think this year I can collect a lot more. We've got two front doors. But normally when we welcome the guests, they come through this way so they can have a look at it, which is cool. It's show off. <laughs> Max lives with his mum, Natasha, sisters Mila and Megan, and dad, Ollie, a former racing driver. I raced all the way through to my late 20s, so racing has always been in my blood. When Max was born, it was inevitable that he was going to end up racing something, unbeknown to probably Natasha at the time, but... Very uh, much unbeknown to me. Faster, put your foot all the way down. Remember where the brake is? You don't need. I've been racing since I was four, which at first I, I, got, I didn't really know what it was or anything. Everything that I can remember is racing every weekend. We raced 48 weekends last year. So it is fairly, fairly bonkers. Character building. Well, that's what you, you think it's character building. I, I, I don't see it that way. I see that I'll be in a very early grave. I'll give you all my love. I'll give you all my love. Competing against Max is another racing prodigy, eight-year-old Oliver Denny and his dad, Glenn. You ready? Keep your glasses on, you look cool. Make sure you drive well and focus, yeah? Hopefully one day I can be a Formula One driver because it's the quickest car you can race. You right, darling? <laughs> Oliver lives in Suffolk with his sister Faye and his mum, Kerry. Does he have half each? Since the age of five, he's been stockpiling go-karting trophies. One, two, 
3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 12, 13, 14. I race all the time. I only have about two weekends off a year. 26, 27, 28, 29, 31, 32, 34, 35. 35 wins. When you win, you have to lift them up above your head. But first place ones are so hard. It's easy now. Oliver's parents are separated, and his dad, Glenn, who runs an energy company, lives in a motorhome at the back of his work car park. Currently, I decided not to buy a house or tie myself down so we can spend the maximum on karting and getting him to where he needs to be. All his race gear goes in here, all the wet stuff that with takes everything else. So I keep all the exhaust and various bits and pieces under here. And for me, it's 100% worth the sacrifice. It's what, you know, almost what you live for. You work to earn money to go karting. How much money do you think you spend on karting in a year? In a year, between 100 and 130,000 with everything in. I try not to add it up. Come sit down. <laughs> what I've done is I printed you off like little sayings that famous people guy? said. Ayrton Senna, that's when he was driving at Monaco. Glenn believes winning is all in the mind. Senna said if you come second, it's the first loser. So being second is the worst possible place. Either win or that's it, yeah? Good. This is one of the most famous sayings that Ayrton Senna ever said. Really? Yes, what does it I say? I have no... Adults? Idols. Idols. Do you know what an idol is? No. Someone you look up to, like Ayrton Senna would be potentially your idol. Why? Just the way it is. Oh. Put that one on the fridge. This one's hard. Rocky's a legend. We love him. The thing is, I used to watch the films as a kid, and he, you know, he loves the films, and it's... Uh, no, I love Harry Potter. You know, it's, he likes Harry Potter. You have to come in here and read these before you go out for a race. That sounds like I have no idiots. Idols. Back in North Wales, qualifying is about to start. Got 20 minutes, bitches! I love it. What's the plan for the race today? So we take the if we get to the front. A fast lap time is vital for the final race later in the day. Yeah, I'm feeling confident that I can do well, um, but I think I can. Um, it'll be a hard race. Get in and get your club down and get stuck into it, okay? So just push it, okay? If you want to achieve in sport, you've got to be pushed continually and put under pressure. And if you're not under pressure from a young age, when you do get that pressure when you're 14, 15, you're not going to be able to handle it. Max is in cart 33. Come on! While Oliver is driving cart 43. Get the fucking way. Come on, son. Go, Danny, go, Danny. Push him, 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 push him. Just minutes into the session, Oliver runs wide. That's the other grass. Fuck it. Max has qualified in fifth, but Oliver is down in 20th. Danny, what the hell are you doing? How many mistakes do you want to make per lap? What? What are you doing? You're turning early, coming down the hill every time, hitting the curb. You've got to wake up, mate, yeah? And be brave, OK? You cannot drive all Friday at the front end and then do that. Why did it all go wrong? You were going so well, yeah? What did he do? Did he just put you off on the, gr yeah. on the ground? 
be upset. I'll leave him alone, but try and work out what happened. He wants to do well, you see, but he can't, you know. Emotions get to us all, I suppose. With Oliver out of contention, it's an opportunity for Max to push for a podium. Good, you're really well. It's going to be my best performance in my car. Let's have a... Let's hope so in the final, yeah? OK, Tiger? Yeah. OK, you can do this, yeah? If they're going to do well in, in this sport, it is exceptionally hard to get the sponsors. People will only back winners. People will only back people that can give them a return. It's, it's business at the end of the day. I think from Mum's point of view, a lot of the time you're just hoping that they get around safely, if I'm honest. I put pressure on myself to do well in big race meetings. There's so many people around you watching the race, so you have to do well. The drivers set off for the formation lap. Out of 34 drivers, Max is lining up fifth. Three, Max has slipped back to seventh. Oh, Max, what are you doing? No, 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 no. He soon gains a place and is going after the leading pack. tries a move on the inside. Go on, son! Get in, get in, get in, get in, Max. You're on the outside, mate. You're going to get mugged off. We're off. Fuck! Bollocks! Maxwell! Fuck! Fuck! Dead, 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 dead last. Dead last. Oh, my God. OK, Max. 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 Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Max. Come on, Tiger. Hey. Come on, mate. What were you doing on the outside, you monkey? What do you mean, what was I doing on the no, outside? I... No, I was just about to go around the corner and then he just took the germ and hit me and that's gone off. Uh, it's really hard when you've got a kid in tears. He's right. 10 years old, it's really tough. You know, right, it's really yeah. hard. When I have a bad weekend, I go home and I'm very upset because I'm wasting my parents' time and everyone else's time. This weekend, probably couldn't get any worse. The British go-karting industry has long been the breeding ground for the next Formula One stars. Use more track, come over here, more track, and then turn in. For the best chance of success, kids join teams, giving them access to professional mechanics and trainers. So into here, we want to be dipping this shoulder in. The total cost for parents can be well over £130,000 a year. That's miles better. Well done. Oh, he's through 
there, mate. Come on. Go get him. Go get him. One family unable to afford the costs of being in a team are the chaplains. Yeah, we're just losing a straight line. 50.2. Well done. Set a PB. Ten-year-old Fenn and his dad, also called Fenn, go it alone and work in their own father-son unit. You do everything, don't you? You do the catering, you do the transport, you do the mechanicing, like you do driver coaching, like everything. Okay. Apart from the driving, which obviously I live to. <laughs> Good lad. We're, we're on our campaign to be British kart champions, but we're kind of hoping that if we can do well, like someone will put some money into him and help him continue with it, you know, because. Otherwise, it'll be a bit of a struggle, but, you know, fingers crossed. And what's the dream? What's the dream? Well, F1 driver. You want to be an F1 driver? Yeah. <laughs> like who? Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> That's the dream anyway, yeah. <laughs> Fenn has autism and lives in Cumbria with his sister Vicky, mum Les, Let the pipe go. and dad Fenn Senior, a local property developer. Right, you need a 22. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I, I wish I was just no school whatsoever. And, and I wish I could just waste all the time. And then hopefully I can be like world champion more than once. I want to be remembered for like generations. He was diagnosed with um, a bit as being on the autistic spectrum when he was four, and he was pretty much non-verbal. When he was two, this little voice just sort of said, "Like I like I like that car," and then he didn't say anything for two years. When his son was five. Fenn decided to take him karting. As soon as he started driving, it all sort of coincided with, like, incre with his increase of speech and everything else. You know, before that, it's just, it's just sad. Remember, our GPs told us to look at it as a, look at him as a broken fridge, a broken radio. Computer. A broken computer that can't be fixed. And we did something about it. That's why we started racing. And then, because he then had somewhere that he could exercise that passion, and he and he felt I think he felt comfortable because he knew. When you find something that you love and you do it, you become who you're meant to be. And you found cartoon and you love it. I think I was born with like the speed rush. But I, yeah, I just don't have like the people to teach me yet. Hopefully I can show people that I'm really good because they'll like sponsor me. If I can make it to the Formula One car, I'll be very happy and I feel like I've accomplished my mission. Another racer aiming for Formula One is 10-year-old Max Dodds. After a full day at school, Max goes boxing up to three times a week with Dad Ollie. So work hard, get a good sweat on. Keep moving, boys, keep moving. You've got to bear in mind that he's competing against kids that are 13, 12, 13 years old on track. He's only just 10. So you're trying to compete with kids that are bigger, tougher, stronger. 
So he's got to toughen up. You can do some running first. Okay. Yeah? What are you going to do? The step? I'll do, some, I'll, do, I'll do the step. You can do some running. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. On top of boxing, Max is doing daily gym sessions at home with his mum, Natasha. People don't really understand how hard it is uh, to, do, to do it all. And I don't think he particularly loves this bit, so. No. <laughs> Gotta do it. For me, it's eat, sleep, race, repeat, and that's about it for my life. Max's dad, Ollie, is well aware of the sacrifices that young drivers have to make. I'm not like most parents. I've raced. I understand it. What held me back is cash. I guess I missed out by not having that, and I wouldn't have ventured into a sport like this if I knew I couldn't commit to it. To at least give him a fighting chance to be successful in the sport that he's hopefully going to do one day. Have you got your stuff for the weekend, Oliver? Over in Suffolk, eight-year-old Oliver Denny is getting ready to go racing with his dad, Glenn. I've got a couple of toys what I'm bringing them this weekend. This teddy bear is called Lion. I have it when I sleep. He gives me good luck because when I don't have him, um, I feel lonely and then he makes me feel not lonely. Because my parents don't live together, that's the mainly point when I see my dad. It's so nice to see him so we can like, spend the time, more time together. He's a bit big. <laughs> Done it. Oliver has permission to miss school on Fridays when Glenn picks him up to go racing. From his point of view, it's everything is, you know, pretty much Thursday night onwards back to Sunday night is geared around racing. So it's a you know massive commitment for him and his life for such a young lad. We miss a lot of days at school. I'm not too worried about it. It doesn't doesn't really matter to me, it's, uh, he always catches up, you know, he go, when we have a, a few days off, he always goes back in, he comes and tells me the next week, oh, I had to work hard to catch up, Dad, but he, you know, he, that's in him, isn't it, so he always catches up. Oliver is one of the youngest kids competing in his division. To further his progress, Glenn has entered him into a race with boys up to five years older. Yeah, like we're trying to force the growth as such, they're trying to develop him quicker than he actually would naturally. And why is that important? Because we have to, we have to go out there and try and do things that kids haven't done before, so we've got to try and win more British titles. We, you know, we've got to try and shock people into what he can actually do to try and get him noticed. To help Oliver mentally prepare, Glenn wants to show him a video of his recent victory in America. Although you're young, you can beat older kids, yeah? It has happened, and it's happened in, in the past, okay? Right, this is 30 seconds of you, your unbelievable best, okay? We've seen these two dominate most of the weekend here. Look at this. Look at that. That's what you call a move, isn't it? That's what you need to do, yeah? Believe you can do that, yeah? Do you believe? Yeah. Show me, yeah? From the back, uh, straight through. Every corner, every lap, boom, straight Dad, in. they're all numpties, all right. Exactly, well, believe they're numpties. I just want to go out there and race really well for my dad. I need to show him what I'm made of on the track. It's about the want, OK, and the belief, yeah? So believe in yourself and want it more than the others, yeah? And then you'll beat them, OK? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's go. Go, 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 push, 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 push it. Here's the power. In 
car 43, Oliver is working his way up the field. Come on, go in, go in, go in, straight away. Yes, good lad. Eight now. Come on, Denny. Three laps remaining. Oliver in car 43 has made his way to fourth. Go with him. Go with him. Go in, go in. That was a move. Come on. We're in third. Fingers crossed. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, he's gone for second! <laughs> oh, he's through! Come on, Danny! We're going, we're going, we're gone. Yes! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He drove that well, didn't he? He did too well. <laughs> Send it in, get in. <laughs> that was balls, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what you've got to do, though. That's what people remember. Well, Denny! He's now officially better. That's what you call a manoeuvre. <laughs> what? Great, man. Where'd you get that one from? <laughs> confidence but then I know that I can sit at the front and I'm like I can beat some of these old ones. Right, are you ready for the lean competition? I'll go first. Let's go, ready? <laughs> rabbit. Right, now show me yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's really important to make my dad happy because if he's not happy he's he doesn't really talk to me that much. When I, when he's happy he talks to me a lot. Show me through this chicane at PF. What about F100 choke? <laughs> they showed me the winning finger. <laughs> One of the most coveted prizes in the go-karting calendar is the European Open. In just a few weeks' time, racers from around the world will compete to be crowned one of the world's best. Again? <laughs> Ten-year-old Max Dodds and his dad, Ollie, are focusing on the challenge ahead. Got to move. It's just all about reflexes and split-second, split-second moves. Sorry. It's obviously when they're driving. We haven't got time to really think, so the idea is to try and make it almost second nature how they move and how quick they are responding to anything that's thrown at them, literally. You never play for Yorkshire, will you? <laughs> Mum Natasha is aware Max's dedication comes at a price. A lot of the time I do think it's a huge commitment for him. He misses out on a lot of things. He doesn't really socialise with his school pals very often. So it is a huge commitment for Maxwell. Is it something you ever worry about? Um, I've had my moments where I've thought that we've been, well, that we've both maybe been a little bit too pushy. But I think pretty much every child that's achieved in, in their field has had a parent that's, that's done that. This year, Max has driven almost every weekend. Yeah, I mean, you have to be dedicated to everything you do. But, like, downside is that I miss out on going to friends' parties or going to friends' houses. It makes me feel left out because people are going, doing stuff and then 
they're always talking about it at school and I'm always the one who misses out on it. Is it worth the sacrifice? In the end, if, if I do well and have everything go well, it, it's a good sacrifice. It's Saturday morning, let's get up! In Suffolk, eight-year-old Oliver Denny is having a rare day off from racing. Right, pop your, do you want to put your welly boots on like Oliver? Today I'm going off to a farm with my friend, um, his name's called George, and he's one of my best friends. You're looking forward to seeing the animals? That's, goat. that's not a goat, Oliver, that's a oh sheep. Look, they're rams. Mm -hmm. Yes. Look at that. Piggy! Oh my god! Oh, look at his nose. Oh. <laughs> it's nice for him to be able to get together with a friend and come out for the morning. <laughs> nice to see him doing something normal, really, you know, that normal eight year olds do, really. Goat! George! You want some food? <laughs> so whilst he's happy and it works for him, it's fine. But, you know, it can't all be about the racing. Do you wish you, like, uh, not race as much as you do? Um, in one way, I, I would wish that I raced, like, as much because it's fun, and then the other way, uh, I wouldn't because, like, I play with my friends and stuff. And you do miss lots of school. Yeah. Oliver's dad, Glenn, also aspired to be a racing driver, but didn't start karting until he was a teenager. That's when I used to race TKM, which is a bit of a bandit class, but that was like back in the day when I first started. Yeah, we just used to run out of a van with me dad and out of the awning, how it was done in the olden days. It was uh, good times. And how determined were you to be a racing driver? No, not. My father isn't overly competitive, so. I had to wait till I was older and get competitive myself. It wasn't driven into me to, you know, to win. So I didn't quite have it at a young enough age to, you know, be able to achieve. For my memories, really, it was about me spending time with my dad, you know, with my dad, and that's the that's the thing I'll always take the time, you know, the time. I, oh shit, I'm nearly welling up. The time I spent, you know, the time the times I had with him as a, you know, me and him, the bond we had together. So, oh shit. Yeah. Daddy, how? Like 14 years of memories with me dad just sort of like came back to me like boof. You forget how good it was, you know. I'm normally quite tough, but I don't, you know, I, I probably cry a few times in my life to be fair. And uh, yeah, I didn't think that was in me. It's quite surprising. Right, come on, I'm going to man up. Jesus Christ. I'm going to have to get some tissues. In Cumbria, the Chapman family are preparing for a key race. Come on, you can see him in front here. The finish line is coming up. Get that extra speed. Ten-year-old Fenn has yet to find a win this year, but today could be a chance to kick-start his season. Cumbria is home to one of the most challenging tracks in the UK, packed with hairpins and chicanes. He wants this one so badly that I can feel his nerve. He doesn't show it, but he cannot see his body language just like, I need to go out there and do good. So yeah, I'm very nervous. Yeah, it's, it's important to show people that I'm really good because they'll, they'll, they'll respect me more and they might get a sponsorship out of it. That's what he wants to do, is to win. If he wins, it's like a big dose of medicine, hopefully, that will sort of make him feel more confident in himself. All right, fingers crossed, here goes nothing, eh? I think 
I can be really good if I put my mind to it. And then hopefully I can drive in a Formula One car. After qualifying well, All right, mate. You're in second. Yeah, you know what to do. Fenn will have to be at his best to have a chance of winning. In. Fenn and the race leader have broken away from the pack. Come on, Fenn. This is it, this is it, this is it. The inside. Come on. The inside. Yeah! Well done! Yeehaw! Fenn's fought his way to first place. Yeah, it's close. Oh, oh no. But his rival isn't giving up without a fight. Oh, she's got it back. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, he's taking it back. Come on, all that place. This is scary. Two the seconds down, down on the clock. Oh my God. Come on, final lap, final lap. On the last lap, Fenn drops a second once more. Oh, she's done it. She's taken us. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. He's back in He's front. Back in front. <laughs> As they enter the final stages, Fenn is just inches in front. It's the pull out of this next corner that will decide it. Oh. Come on, Fran. Come on, Fran, let's solve it. Don't mess it up. Hold on, hold on! Fenn has held on for his first victory of the season. <sighs> you saw how happy he was. Just want to see him. That was it, like, well done, you did it. Well done. Did you, did you see that? Mate, we did, it was epic. It was wheel to wheel action. It was wheel to wheel, mate. Mate, well done. Epic. Well done. Oh my gosh, well done. Finally. Yes. Well, that's a good feeling. Not a bad feeling. Come on, Ben. Well done. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. If you think about like how hard things were for him when he was little, and then and how hard he's had to work to get to this point, it's, yeah, it's powerful stuff. <laughs> just give me a high five. That was just wicked. Next year, I, I want to show people I can win races in like in like all different levels. Well done. Now you can help me pack up. Yeah. In Lincolnshire. 28 young drivers from across the globe are preparing to battle it out to be crowned the European Open champion. Two of the youngest kids competing are eight-year-old Oliver Denny and 10-year-old Max Dodds. This is probably the biggest race of the year. Everyone wants to win it. Yeah, we're on it. Go, Denny. Push it. It's a rigorous five days of qualifying and racing. Pushy. That's better. And the ideal place for young drivers to impress industry scouts. Really good. Please with that, yeah? Brilliant. That's good, Max. Yep. Quick. Very quick. After months of preparation, 
it all comes down to one race. 15 minutes. So if you're overtaking someone at the hairpins, run them. When you get alongside them, properly run them onto the grass and they go blub, 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 and then you drop them. You've got to believe, Max. You've got to believe. I want to win it for myself, but I mean, for, for Father's Day, I'd like to win it for my dad. Remember how good you were in America. You're the champion over there, yeah? And remember how good you've been this weekend. And remember what we've taught you and how fast you can be, yeah? You can do it, okay? Good lad. This is the first time I've done this race. I'm, I'm going to try and push and show everyone what I can do. Maxie, come on, you can do it. I know you can do it. You know you can do it. Everyone knows you can do it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Danny, have some, yeah? I'm full of adrenaline at the moment. You won't believe it. That's why we do this, though. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the biggest race that these youngsters have ever participated in. This is as gruesome as it as it gets because it is just down to the one final. Um, we want it just as much as them, for sure. Lining up on 11th in cart 33 is Max. Just alongside on 12, in number 43, is Oliver. Come on, Denny. European final, here we come. I'm just nervous. The engines are fired. On to the rolling lap go 28 drivers. 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Mayhem. We're off and racing. Go, go, go! Oh, oh fuck it. It's fun out. Oliver Denny has slipped back to 20 seconds. 20 seconds. A lot of laps to go, though, yeah. Come on, Denny. Oliver may have dropped back, but Max has fought his way to eighth place. Simmons is holding up big time now. But in a daring move, Max overtakes into seventh. Come on, Max. Got to push. Max Dodds is now just three seconds behind the lead group and leading. As Max marches on, number 43, Oliver, is fighting back. Come on, Denny. Yeah, that was nice. And Oliver Denny has broken into the top 15, so a good recovery. We're coming, we're coming. <laughs> but with just one lap to go, Max has caught the leading pack. Look at that, Max Dodds is up there. Where has the number 33 of Max Dodds come from? He has got a chance of winning this race. Come on. Push him in! Do what I like, get in, mate. Get in. Get in, mate. Go, on, mate! Going into the last corner, Max is third. Keneally is the European Open champion. Alex Simmons is second. It's a drive race for them. Taylor gets it. Hello! And he beats Max Dodds to the line by hundreds of a second. Ninety-five percent of motorsports is 
all the crap and the shit that we go through and then the five percent is good so we have to go and embrace the five percent while we can. Oh. Well done, mate. Thanks. Very uh, proud of you. Thank you. You drove awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I was so close to winning it. I mean, this is probably one of the best results I've ever had. Oliver battled his way to 14th, and at just eight years old, he is the youngest driver in the top 15. Well done, mate. Hard race, yeah, that's good, though, yeah. Well done. You pleased with it? Well, we're not European champion. Oh, well. Did you enjoy it? It was aggression and tactics and you were thinking, so it was really good. I'm really proud of you. This year, I've shown my dad how good I can be. Really good. And next year, I'm going to show my dad that I'm even better. I'm going to do a spinner. Oliver's first season at this level has been an eye-opener for Dad Glenn. From my point of view, I think I've gone too far and I've sort of like almost looked at him in a different way than I should. I should really, first he's my son, second he's a racing driver, and I think I've swapped it around incorrectly. And, you know, we've got to make sure we keep the balance that he is my son first. That just back it off and let him be a kid, and, and then the results will come, you know. Congratulations, your cadet Holman, ladies and gentlemen. Max was beaten by kids up to two years older, but at just 10, he's got high hopes for what lies ahead. Next year, I really want to be like always on the podium every weekend and hopefully getting a lot of podium wins. I'm excited about the future and like how well I, I know I can do. 